welcome uh, to my I think it's my first video doing a tutorial kind of a tutorial on a docker container uh, I got encouraged by techno that life on the OMB forums to do this video so I hope you guys enjoy it I hope it is a little bit instructional at least and to show you uh, this piece of software it's very good it is a guacamole and if Apache guacamole and it makes it available for us to use a mobile device uh, with just its web browser or any other device, a computer with a web browser to access the VNC, RDP, SSH sessions and also some SFTP file transfers that I'll show you in just a second. So let's go, let's dive right in into our uh, Open Media Vault server. Let's go to our, under our services section and our Docker. Okay, pretty good. Now we're gonna search for the image of guacamole. Put guacamole in there. I'm gonna use this one, OZNU forward slash guacamole. I use this one because it has all the necessary software to make this a breeze to install. We can go into our image information page over here with this button and we can see the OZNU guacamole image configuration website. It tells us VNC, RDP, and SSH over HTML5. That's the beauty. And now we can see the usage with a Docker run command, we can see that we just have to forward our 8080 port from our host inside our container and also we have to bind mount the slash config directory inside the container to a directory on our host. So we'll do just that in a second. Let's go back into our Open Media Vault server. Now in here we just push start after selecting the image. It will go ahead, download the image. When it finishes, just hit close. Very good. We just select the image that we're gonna run and run the image. Now over here, I'm gonna put a container name. In this case, guacamole itself. Now in here, in the exposed port, we're gonna select this one because the image is already configured to expose the port 8080 from inside it into our port 8080 on our host. Push plus to set this in go a little bit further down into the configuration to the bind mounts. Now we're gonna we know that we have to bind mount the slash config directory from the container to a directory inside our host. For this case I made a docker sub -di docker directory inside my the root of my OMB server but to have this uh, organized I'm gonna use another subdirectory just for guacamole itself. Add that to the configuration and save. After saving, the container will start running. Since it's running inside the same VM as the OMV server, we're gonna just copy the IP from our server, paste it in a new tab, get rid of the forward slash, and append a column 8080, the port that we forwarded from our host into the container. Hit enter. We're inside Apache Guacamole right now. Now, it asks for username and password. Those are located in the Docker Hub website for the image. Here, in the default user section. The default username means Walk admin and the password is just the same. Just copy, go to Apache Guacamole, paste and paste. This will most likely don't work. To fix this, you just go into our Open Media Vault server, you select the container that is running, push start and restart. Now go back into Apache Guacamole, copy the username that is there, paste it and login. And you will log in successfully. Now, to have uh, a good perspective of how to run this the, as efficient as possible let's go into settings users and a new user and for this I'm gonna make the same user we use for open media vault we don't have to fill any of this information but the permissions I'm gonna give it all permissions to administer the system connections and so forth save very good we have 
both users. You can also change the WAC admin user password afterwards if needed. I'm going to log out from WAC admin and log in as admin. Good, there are no recent connections. We're gonna fix that in just a second. Let's go into our user, settings, connection tab, and new connection. And now comes the good part. Let's use the same IP from this uh, Open Media Vault VM. I'm gonna call this OMV VM, and I'm gonna connect to it through SSH, and I will put the host name in here, that's the IP. Very good. The port, I can leave it blank because it will take the default after selecting the protocol that we'll be using, in this case, SSH. I'm gonna put the username, for this case, I only have the root user. The password is there, very good. And let's change the font size to be able to see what we will be um, inputting into the terminal. <laughs> let's go down here. Just gonna select the enable SFTP uh, takeover here. And we're gonna put the browser root directory to just a slash. To show you the SFTP side of it in just a second. Save the connection. Now we have an, a connection called OMVVM and from this icon we can see that this is a command line connection. Let's go into our user home. Now select the connection from the all connection settings. And we're in. Pretty good. We're on uh, Open Media Vault server. Now let's change the directory to the root. Let's list the files. And we see that over here we have the docker file. Let's go in there. Let's see the docker. Now list the files and we see that we have a directory called Wacamole. Very good. Now let's just push on Windows Control Shift Alt or on Mac Control Option Shift. And it will bring this little administration page for the clipboard devices input method into the connection that we're using right now. I will show you in just a second this over here working the SFTP session. Let's just hide this with the same keystroke. Okay. Now let's make a little file over here, shall we? Some nano um, test file. Okay. We're gonna put just some text in there. Good. It's working yes because it did Control x yes and enter to set now let's see the files we see there there is a directory guacamole and the file test file pretty good now we're gonna see this also in our little connection administration page remember Control shift alt Control option shift in mac os now let's go here into devices we see the slash here from the root, just select it. Now we can go around and explore the file system in our same connection. So let's go into Docker and we see the test file over here. Let's download it with a double click. Now we have a test file here. Let's open this test file. We see that it says, good is working. I'm going to zoom this in just a little bit. There we go. Now, we're gonna add just some text in here. Let's say copied back from Mac OS. Pretty good. Save the file. Close the file. It will be in our downloads folder. Select here, upload files. In our download folder, we're gonna look for our test file. Awesome. Now select the text file called test file and open it. It will be automatically transferred into the directory that we're already looking at over here on the administration page. So to refresh it, we just go back to Docker and this file's over there. Just hide this part. And now we're gonna see that the file is there. It has changed. And now we're gonna cat the test file. And we can see that we have 
the previous text and the new text inside there. This is pretty, pretty good for purpose, purposes of uh, editing some config file and find it faster. So let's go out of this connection for this back admin disconnect. Now we're gonna go to home. And now we're gonna do an RDP connection. Let's go into settings, connections, new connection. This time it will be the OMV, the NUC, the baby that I got from Techno Dad Life on the giveaway. Now we're gonna do an RDP connection. Just fill the host name. The port, we can leave it as blank, so we will use the, the default for RDP connections. The username that we'll be using. Actually, no root. Uh, ignore server certificate, I tend to use it. For Linux, I have not had any issues connecting, but for Windows 10 VMs and machines, I've had to select this it to in order to log in. Save. Now we have a new RDP connection signaled by this icon and monitor, signaling that this is a desktop connection. Now, user, admin, home, and in all connections, just select the new OMV not connection in this case. Just let it load and we're in the belly, right there on the desktop. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I use this on a daily basis. You can do a lot more stuff with this. And just scratch the surface on this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to Techno, Techno Dad Life for encouraging me to do this and I hope to make more videos uh, to you know uh, grow this community of open media vault uh, users um, developers and you know whatever else have a good time with servers and all that stuff so I hope to see you soon guys and have a good night because I'm gonna sleep now uh, thank you and bye bye and hi from Puerto Rico Bye-bye.